I guess we're live. Hey, we are live. Hey, welcome to my morning show. I want to see if anybody is is awake and ready to do some laughs. <laughs> Looks like at the moment nobody, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and um, I'm gonna start melting. Oh, we got one person watching. Welcome to the show. Um, I've got a nice little combined stuff that I've been doing as far as marbles and things are concerned. Here's some of the uh, latest that I just pulled out of the oven. There is an octopus marble. That's encased quartz marble. Fumed with gold, by the way. That's that pink color that you see on there. And let's get another one. Little dolphin. I did that one on porpoise. <laughs> And uh, here is a sea turtle. Works out really, really well. These are all up for sale. Um, the average price for these guys is 20 to $30. Uh, encasing the little figurine and putting it so it looks like a nice little marble is not exactly the easiest thing in the world. And especially working with quartz, melting it and making it into the figurine as well. If you don't do it right, you could go blind. Here we go. Specialty giraffe. A little giraffe. Hi, Connie. Nice to see you watching. That's a little bit of a nice marble figurine inside there. I kind of like that one. And let's see what we ha what else we have here. Oh, I think. Oh, this was another thing that I pulled out of the oven. A little. Uh, almost uh, 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 octopus type uh, or squid type little uh, uh, what do they call them nautilus not nautilus but uh never mind but a little pendant piece fumed with silver and i still haven't figured out why fuming with silver gives it that nice gold tone and you fume it with gold and it comes out with a nice pink tone you would think that they would get their, their story straight, but that's the way it is lately, right? Okay, any request, I can do dragons, cats, mice, swans, bears, whales, snails, unicorns, dolphins, and or if you want me to, I could actually do a marble or two. Um, got all the stuff around me, even the mess, <laughs> which you can't see. Here's a little bit of a, let's see if I can tilt and spin so that you can see. Let me take it off of here. I'll regret it. Sorry about that, folks. But uh, this is what I call bouquets of glass rods that I work with. Colors, tubing, rods, a little bit of everything. But that's, that's basically the uh, I guess you could say the palette that I work with and these are the uh, quartz stones that I've melted and made into rods that I make the little figurines that go inside the marbles with now let's see if I can put this back up here without killing it there we go and now I'm gonna zoom back in here and oops let's see there we go. Move it this way slightly. You'll have to forgive the uh, zooming capability. I am going to do a unicorn head. And by that time, somebody else might come up with something else that they would like to see done, right? Right. We'll get there. Now. Unicorns. Back in that... 70s, uh, 80s, and 90s, they were uh, a staple with the stuff that I used to do. And then at the turn of the century, there at 2000, not too many people wanted them anymore. And now they're starting to come back again. I don't mind doing them. I love doing unicorns, dragons, mermaids, all that sort of stuff. This is the neck to the unicorn. Pull it up, curve it forward. Ch 
shark fin. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Here comes the head to the unicorn. Let's turn that down. We don't need that much flame going on. Does the job. Hi, Lena. Nice to see you. And good morning. It's uh, going on 7 o'clock here in good old US of A on the East Coast near Moorhead City, North Carolina. Now, unicorn horn the way I usually put it on there that would work just the way it is right now but I tend to add a little bit to it I uh, go in there and square it off I'll, I'll flatten it this way and flatten it that way and what that does as you turn it to twist the horn now for every corner you have a, a, a sort of like a part of the twist which makes it look like you got more there you go so you don't have to twist it as hard but you can get a nice twist out of it right right any requests uh, marbles and or you know I could do a uh, blue marble I can do some UV reactive marbles uh, and in fact I'll show you some of the smaller ones in just a second let me finish this guy up put a loop on his or bail on his head something like this runs um, yeah, I'll make it a special eight dollars a piece uh, and you gotta pay what four dollars for postage so it's still gonna be around twelve dollars but the more you buy you've already paid for postage so four dollars covers several not just one piece at a time so a little loop here for bail and when I do the bail I usually do so like a question mark like so and then just heat it up and let it dry into itself ah it's not cooperating there we go. Now remount that loop a little bit. Again, if you have a question or a comment or even a request, just ask and I'll see what I can do for you. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of fuming going on. A whole lot of fuming going on. There it is, I think. Now let's sort of kick that down a little bit. Hey, Joan. Good morning. It might be afternoon where you're watching, though. I guess I should be more aware of that. But oh, making. A unicorn head pendant and fuming it with a little bit of silver that's what it looks like after it's fumed hi Ethan good morning are we there yet nice little bail loop and all that sort of stuff going on simple effective a little bit of fire polish where I had that loop going uh, let's see something else something else real quick and easy a dolphin I haven't done a dolphin in a little while yeah I have but that's beside the point let's do a blue dolphin and again if you have a request all you got to do is start to uh, or just ask and I could probably do it real quick and easy just name it out and if you're interested in buying something uh, that that can be arranged as well nine hundred and fifty dollars and it's yours <laughs> no a little bit less than that but that's beside the point <laughs> a 
That's my answer to everything. How much does it cost? 950 bucks. Either that one at $3,728.32. That's two of my answers. <laughs> okay. That's the back end that I'm doing right now to the dolphin. Matter of fact, sometimes I start in the front, sometimes I start in the back. But today we're doing the back first. Sort of like signing your name from the end and working your way to the beginning, but if it all comes out looking like you're signing their name, does it really matter? Right? Right. Now, I usually put the uh, dorsal fin on. go. I think I'll give it green eyes. Because everything else is a different color. Sound good? Sound good. If you have a question, talk to me. I'll see what I can do about answering. I'm not that uh, hard to talk to. As you can see, I even try to sit here and chat with you as we're going here I'm working here but I can talk at the same time I do some of my best work when somebody gives me a good idea or a request hey Christopher long time no see I should have seen, uh, I, when I was up there at Glassroots, I wanted to stop by, but I didn't. I'm sorry, I got a little bit busy. It was a nice crowd, though. Maybe the next time I'm up there, I'll make a special effort to go by and see your little place. Here we go. All it needs is a nose, and, and I'm going to give it green eyes. And that one's just going to be a sit-around piece. Ah, itch. Ah. What is it when you got hot glass in your hand, you get an itch on the end of your nose or the end of your, you know, somewhere where you, you got to put down what you got and scratch it. I never have figured that out. I just live with it sometimes. Okay, a dot for an eye. Dot for the other eye. Making sure they're across from each other is fun. That worked. And now we got a dolphin done. Why not? I think I'll do a UV reactive marble. We'll put those in the oven in a little while. But I thought I'd give them all. Actually, here, let's pick this up and show this to you a little easier. Yeah, right there, I guess, is the best. I did that on purpose. <laughs> now, UV reactive marble. Um, how do you know it's UV reactive? Especially, you add UV reactive glass, and in there, there's a lot of Illuminati going on. A lot of Illuminati going on. I might add a little bit of that. Oh, here's one of the ones. I think this is called Atomic Comquat or something, but you can't see it as, as easily. Yeah, you can see it. That's a nice color. Uh, let me see what's another good color. These are canes that I did up a long, long time ago. Well, not a long time ago. Last year. But last year was just a little while ago. Oh, here's a nice one. Looks like regular green, and then you add uh, some Ill Illuminati to it, and it has a different color to it. I think I'll use that. And let me see. I know I've got something that I wanted to use. I think I'll make that, and I'll just make some small marbles with that. That's it. Simple, effective. 
marbles. And we're talking macro marbles is what I'm doing. And I've just set a set of them here on your channel. Uh, and the auction was last ended last night. I will put some more up here recently, probably today, that you can choose from. And if it's not in the set and you have some requests of colors, I do have different colors to work with. Cold seal there. Work off the back end here. Pull it down, round it off. Any questions, any requests, just ask. And at the moment, you won't be able to see until it cools down a little bit. And all this stuff can be bench cooled, but I will put it in the oven shortly afterwards. That's, that one I need to have another small pudding to work with. Hey, Ryan. Nice to see people are still showing up. Cold sealed there. Pull it off there and round it off just a little bit more. And then I know this sort of seems one of those deals where you, you could do it all day long, back and forth. But I eventually just like this one should be the trick. And in this size, it doesn't have to be perfectly round, but that's not too, too bad for a marble. Now it just takes a little bit of cooling. And I'll let, set that down for a second and go ahead and do another one, very similar to it. Couple of weeks, Glass Vegas is going on. I'm, I uh, I did that last year, and it turns out I have a chance to go to it again this year. But other than that, after that, I'm going to be going back to poor old. Well, I'm broke anyway at this point, but I still had the opportunity to go to the Glass Vegas. Hopefully, I'll meet a, uh, some neat people and uh, rub elbows and maybe find a few uh, potential. Sellers of my work, who knows? We'll see. Round it down. That takes care of that side. Now, this one is cool enough that I can break it off. Fire polish that edge. Set it down. I needed it anyway for the punte to go to this one. Touch it too. And pull this side off. After this one, I'll show you some of the ones that I have done about this same size range. Some of them are what's called hobnail marbles, which are pretty interesting, all, all the bumps on them. If anybody knows about those, tilt it down a little bit more. Let that start to solidify and then I can set that down just for a little bit. At this size, they are practically, but here, let me show you some of the ones that I have done. Here's one of the hobnails, a little bumpy one, but then you add the, uh, you can see all the swirls and the, even the uh, the bumps. I think it's a uh, yellow. I'm not sure what the uh, the color is. Um, it might be UV. Uh, it might be Illuminati, but I'm not sure. A nice little bumpy one there. Hey, John. 
Here's another couple of them. They look like just regular old marbles in there. But once you add the light, you can see all the little colors jump out at you. Some pinks, some yellows, some greens. Yeah, the green's hard to get nowadays. It's called Illuminati, and they have stopped making it about a year or so ago. So, I guess they should go up on price in some of those babies, but, ah, haven't yet. Haven't got a lot left, but, hey, if anybody's got some Illuminati they want me to make some eyeballs out of, I'll definitely say, it got lost. No, I won't. <laughs> I'll say, hey, if you want something made, I'll make it for you. You got the stuff. Yeah, here's ones with a little bit of Illuminati in the in the rod there. Okay, let's see. What could I do now? A uh, quick something green. What's green? Could do a toidle. Anybody know what a toidle is? Let's do a toidle. Let's do a toidle. This is one of the first lessons I give when I teach glass blowing. Gives you an idea whether you and everybody that I've had the lesson with didn't give up and they made a turtle and they also were able to uh, show it to somebody that didn't know what they did and say that's a turtle. It may look like a prehistoric turtle or a ugliest looking turtle I ever saw in my life but they say it's a turtle. So that's a good thing. Yep. Round ball. Touch it too. That's a cold seal. Now I go down a little bit. This is the very first lesson. Well, you also get a chance to play with glass as well. Work around and see if you can't, you know, see what you just manipulating the glass it's fun too oops need to melt this a little bit more into the top of this thing there we go oops got a little sideways got a little catty wampus there after this turtle we're gonna call this show quits I'll be back on later on this afternoon. Why? Because I can. Why? Because I like the audience. I'm trying to move it over a little bit, see if I can't do that. You can do that. There it went. It's not as off center as it was a second ago. And now we're going to get another color. Let's use some of this blue. It'll be nice. Hey, Taba. This is my little corner of the world. I was watching you do an octopus either yesterday or the day before. I can't remember, but that was your little corner of the world. That was cool. I do figurines a lot. I love to do them. And yes, the torch I've got can do a lot bigger and better and meaner things but yes and I have done bigger better meaner things but what I'm doing is called the fold and pull method because you it's pull and fold but I called it the fold and pull because it sounds better I guess pull it out fold it over pull it out so on and so forth and you get as much glasses you want done actually what I usually show the first it's not a sea turtle but I went into a sea turtle mood mode when I started doing this but uh, the very first um, lesson I give is not a sea turtle but a land turtle but people get the idea touch and pull for the tail Touch and pull for the head. Shape it a little bit. 
I think I'll make a loop on this baby. Little baby, ba uh, little baby pendant. It's looking pretty good. Ooh, eyes, eyes, eyes. Let's see what we got for eyes here. Blink, blink, blink. Did I put it back already? I hate it when I do that. I had over here, and I don't know what I did with it. Don't you just love it when you got organizational skills up? I even cleaned the table recently. I can't find a darn thing. <laughs> That's the way it works, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if I can find another one. Oh, come on. Oh, here it is. It's got, this is an eye millie that I have. And on the in the, you, uh, let me see, there we go. You can see the eye. But when I make this, draw it down into this size range, I also put a little fob on the end here, a color, so that I can say, real quick saying, oh, that's not just a regular colored rod because that would look like a green rod. And what a waste of a good Millie. So basically, one eye. Oops, of course. Now it's getting hold of this baby. Have to do a good cold weld on the end of a tail here. Any request? Did that get an eye on there? Not a full eye, but it got an eye. Let's do the other side. Back and forth until it snaps off. Oh, it didn't, it broke off, it didn't snap off. That was too long and too big. It's either too much or too little sometimes. I think I, I did the trick. We'll see. Any requests? Cat, mouse, swan, bear, whale, snail, unicorn, dolphin, elephant? Name it out and I'll do it. If you want to buy it, that's a thing too. We can do that too. Now the bale or the loop or whatever you want to call it. Well, after this, unless I see somebody say, make a whatever. If not, I'll come back on later. I've got to do a couple of things over in a town called Newburn, which is a town and a half over. No, two towns over from where I live. And you got one sea turtle pendant. Oh, let me show you real quick the uh, ones that I did just a little while ago. The marbles, and then I'll call it quits. Oops, I never did take that one off the other. But this one is cool enough that you should be able to see the uh, UV reactive colors going on let there be UV light and the other one is cool enough but I never did take it off the uh, the punte but I'll do that real quick right now yeah, at this size they are pretty durable and not as much stress in them as if you do a big marble try to do this with a big marble and it'll go boom <laughs> explode on you That'll do. Okay. No request. I'll, uh, I, I will do, since some of these people that are watching now didn't see it earlier, but I will show you some of the stuff I showed at the very beginning of this video. These are the marbles that I've been doing lately. An octopus marble. Here is a 
see turtle marble and the figurine inside I do is made out of quartz rock I actually take quartz pebbles and melt them down and make the figurines and then uh, sort of melt it like glass but it takes a lot more heat and a lot more effort there's a seahorse yeah see seahorse and here's uh, another one different design same idea this one is a fumed boro rod that I made a conch shell out of and then encased it and that's all quartz I mean all boro but it's a conch shell I got some others that I guess I could show let me see if I can grab them real quick here if anybody's interested in these, give me a holler or a jump or sh whatever. Here's a conch shell made out of quartz. And encased in boro. Hey, Rick. Another conch shell. This one's just a shark. A little hummingbird. It's a lot easier, believe it or not, to put them in the quartz encased in the in the boro. There's a dragon. Or one of my favorites to do. Another shark. This one's fumed with gold. Uh, marble after marble to take out and look at. Another design on a dragon. And you gotta realize these dragons, once they're inside, they're magnified. The one that's inside, it, it's about a third smaller than what you can actually see there. Um, it's kind of crazy. This one's a neat one as well. I'm really excited about doing these like a lady and a, mer a, a dolphin. I can also do a mermaid and a diver. Um, this one is probably no that's just silver fumed i thought it was going to be uv reactive but it's just silver fuming that i did playing around got a few colors light tints of yellows and blues but mostly yellows and uh here's another guy, a little smaller guy swimming with a dolphin that's one of my little specialties Encasing two things at once. Let me see if I can grab anything else. Most of these are tiny ones. Oh, nope. Yeah, well. Seen everything else. Oh, here's one. A smiley face Millie. Pretty nice. And again, you, 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 you nip off a little bit of the smiley face just like I did the Millie in the eyes for that... Um, Sea turtle. Let me see if you can see those eyes and probably cannot. Yeah, somewhat. But anyway. With that, I'm going to call it quits, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate all your efforts and questions and comments. And <coughs> again, if there's something that you want made special, I can accommodate. Uh, have a good day. Carpe vitro. Well, actually, I say enjoy your day. <laughs>